yes. Let's cook. I think we got some angles of the dangles. Does that work? There we go. I didn't test this one out beforehand. I figured this was a good way to use up the first minute. Hi. What's your angle of the dangle, Lieutenant Jim Dangle? Let's go with that. I can adjust as necessary. What's up, Shannon? I see your cute little face. Mwah. Hi, everyone. Okay. We're going to make huevos rancheros a la yes. And um, this is a recipe I was taught like 19 years ago by this guy Chewy. Um, I worked in a kitchen. I was the only person that spoke English and I learned some good tricks about how to make something delicious and Mexican when you're making dinner, lunch, or brunch. Oh my goodness, there's a hair in that pan. Get it out. Okay, so this is my recipe. I'm just gonna say that one more time. This is not, if you go Google rancheros, huevos, huevos rancheros, mm -mm. if you go Google that, it's not gonna give you this recipe. And really what I'm only gonna teach you today, I'm sure, is the salsa because everybody, I assume, knows how to um, fry a couple of eggs and heat up some beans and fry some tortillas and crumble some cheese, right? Like, I, I'm not teaching you that. What I'm gonna tell you today is my favorite, hi Kiara, hi everyone, hi Moki, um, my favorite salsa recipe. If you have a food processor that's ideal, um, get one out, please, while I chat, uh, and have that ready with the blade. <clears throat> I also want to show you, this one's a little like on the fly kind of a thing, um, my favorite little slaw to go with anything Mexican, I'll put it on all my tacos, my fajitas, my enchiladas, my tostada, my huevos rancheros. So I'm only going to make a little bit and it's the first thing we're going to do because we're going to macerate this. I don't know if that's the right term, scientifically speaking, if you do know, please tell me. Um, because macerating is what you do to berries, and ceviche is what you do to fish. But we're going to essentially cook this cabbage in a little bit of lime juice, olive oil, and salt. We're going to get that going berry first so it can hang out while we hang out. Because I sure love how this is bringing my friends and myself together. There's a few of you watching, and I really like that. And by a few, I mean like a hundred and something. So thanks. I fucking love you guys. This is really neat. There's a lot of things happening in this world right now that are <laughs> fucking wild. And this is one of them, and that's wild in a good way. So, let's get the cabbage cut. Okay, I'm only gonna take like <sighs> this much of this head. Uh, it doesn't need a whole lot. And see the stem, we're gonna cut right through it. And then we're gonna cut that little stem out. So you have this nice chunk of stem-free cabbage. And um, I will talk to you guys like I do my new employees in a kitchen, okay? I expect you, every time you pick up a knife to cut something, to use that moment um, as practice for your knife skills. So we're going to try, we are going to try our very best super thin slice on some cabbage right now. Does everybody have some cabbage out? Can we wait a second? Go get your fucking cabbage. I can't believe you didn't have that ready. Just kidding, I didn't tell you to have it out for today's recipe. Hi, hi, hi everyone. Yes, okay, so your knife should be an extension of your arm. I want you always when cutting things to have a strong wrist and we all fucking wimpy about it. Come on, this is a dangerous thing. You have a very sharp, it should be sharp by the way, a very sharp knife out. You should be good with it, Um. okay. I don't like that little piece of cabbage. Fuck that one, let's keep moving. So we're gonna start, sometimes you start from the outside, sometimes from the inside on the chunk of cabbage. It don't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. Please use your finger as a guide and get some super thin, pretty little julienne, that's the French term for this, uh, julienne of cabbage, okay? Whip that up. Honestly, I could have probably just went with that much. How many people are you making brunch? afternoon brunch what is this fucking brupper it's like brunch dinner supper huh 
proper. So <clears throat> I'm going to do a brunch for two. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this whole buddy uh, because remember, focus, it keeps really well and goes fucking great on everything. Okay. So you have some thinly julienned cabbage. Yeah? No? Don't matter. Put it in a bowl. I'm so happy I'm in y'all's house right now because like I dig being alone and I dig self-isolation, but I really honestly do miss my friends. So hi. Okay. The cabbage. Remember what I told you about lemons? I want the same thing when it comes to lime. The really nice thin skin. You should have thick skin, but your citrus should have thin skin. Okay. I always have a fork for squeezing it. I would like you to squeeze probably half that lime over that cabbage. Maybe we'll save a little bit for the next recipe. Okay. And a little bit of olive oil. Okay. A drizzle. <sighs> Give it a drizzle for shizzle. Okay. And a, a sprinkle for a rizzle over your cabbage. Not sure if that was the right terminology, but let's go with it and toss it. I really want the acid and the oil to get all over the cut sides, salt too, of that cabbage. Okay, push it down in there so it's like really making contact with the acid and oil. Hmm, sounds like a good time to me. So set that aside. On to the salsa recipe. So this is a salsa fresca. I have five tomatoes out. They are washed, cause fuck Corona. Am I right? Um, we're gonna put three, whoa, did you see that? I fucking caught it. Yes. So three, maybe four. We're gonna dice this one as garnish. So set that one aside. Okay. You don't need the vine. Although maybe someday I'll be a vine. That would be pretty cool. Okay, you have your food processor set up. If you are going to make vegetarian huevos rancheros today, do what I do. If you are going to make meat lovers with steak or ground meat, you could also quarter your tomato, throw that in the food processor. You could also use like chorizo, soy rizo, you know, whatever. Please don't put the little stem mark in your salsa. Come on. You're not just cooking for anyone, you're cooking for yourself. So give a fuck, okay? Let's start with some. We have one and a half tomatoes in. Cut out your little stem piece. Don't need those, but you can save them for your stock. Do you have a stock pot going? Come on, get a stock pot going. Veggie ends, those should not be going in the trash. Oh my goodness, okay. Mm. Just uh, for the record, I tried to switch it up a little bit and I'm having, is it water or is it white claw? Who knows? Hmm. Only myself and Alana know. It's up to you to wonder. Okay, moving on. You fucking alcoholic, you should probably pay attention to your recipe. Um, <clears throat> did I say that out loud? <laughs> I actually don't drink a lot, I just drink for this show because it makes me <sighs> less nervous. Okay. That was actually only two tomatoes. Let's go with three. Um, so yeah, if you're going to do a meat version, replace the bean section with meat. When I hit stop recording, I'm gonna cut up some pork chops and do them real quick in a hot pan with this salsa, the same way we're gonna do with the beans. So I've had a few of you request for vegetarian. Also, I'm gonna do it dairy free until the very end when I sprinkle queso fresco on top of it, but I'm going to go ahead and use um, coconut oil. And you know what I forgot to grab was an onion. Do you grab an onion? Is it peeled? Get it ready. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm on my way back. I just had to run down to the root cellar. Oh <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I live in town now. I'm like a townie. It's so weird. But, um, <clears throat> here you go. So, don't forget, let's start with half an onion. 
to save your peel, root, and tip of your onion. Throw it back there for your stock pot. I actually just strained one, so I have to start a new one. Um, I froze a couple of quarts and pints of stock and can use them for later. Okay. Uh, all right. Onion in with the tomatoes. Tomato, tomato, you know, whatever. Okay. This is where your training from the COVID crisis will come in handy. Don't touch your fucking eyes after you clean the jalapeno or your, you know, junk. Okay. It's not junk. It's valuable. Or your treasure chest. Because you're a pirate? I don't know. Come on. Give me a break. I've had some water. White claw? I don't know. White claw? Okay, so a nice way. Cut it in half. Do it again so you have a lengthwise quartered jalapeno. Um, <clears throat> lay your knife flat and without slicing your finger, take the center out with those seeds. That's the hardest, hardest part. Let's go with it. And the hottest. You don't want the seeds. That's where the heat is. You're hot enough for this recipe. Am I right? Fuck yeah. Look at all you people watching. What's up, guys? So glad you're here. Okay. <clears throat> I preheated my pans. I think they're a little too hot, so I'm just going to turn them down a sec. A little bit. Kick it down a notch. So now you have some jalapeno flesh. Um, <clears throat> there's a quarter of a jalapeno. Do another quarter. Let's start with a half a jalapeno because we really don't know how hot this sucker is till we try. It's like so many things in life. You just gotta jump right in and find out. Okay, there we go. Um, so, remember, your fingertips will be very spicy from here on out, even if you go wash them. Also, a trick for getting spicy off of your fingers is scrubbing them with salt or sugar um, and cold water also because it contracts your pores. Um, what's going to make this exceptionally delicious is we're going to put some of the actual flesh of the lime in. So I want half the lime, like slice the peel off, take the edge off, just take the edge off, okay, that's all I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> So you have this nice chunk of lime, peel-free lime, okay? Put that, quarter it, little chunks, into the food processor with the jalapeno, onion, and tomato. Okay, the lime is a bit intense. And then, did we have some left over from the one we started juicing? Where's my fork? How did I lose the fork? Oh yeah, it's in the cabbage, here we go. Pay attention, keep organized. Did you have your mise en place today? Did you? I had most of mine. Um, let's put that lime juice in the food processor because we are juicy. Okay, the other half of lime is gonna get juiced in there too. Yes, it's limey. <laughs> um, I think sometimes that's like the only reason I actually eat Mexican food is so I can fucking douse it in lime juice. I don't know why, but I love it. Yeah, okay, maybe I just don't have scurvy. Hold on, I'm gonna rinse my hands. Maybe even give them a good scrub because of all that jalapeno. You know what I'm pretty excited about? I'm gonna be super honest right now. I'm really excited about telling you my favorite egg joke. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a good one, okay? Cut me some slack, all right. Into your salsa, a sprinkle of salt. Uh, 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 uh. This is a very key ingredient. If you don't have it, it's gonna still taste good. It'll be delicious. But this is the recipe I was taught. I don't fucking like cumin, okay? It's just for the, like, for the record. Get that straight. But it has its places, and this recipe is one. A little bit of cumin was fucking oregano. Did you see the label? I didn't. It's okay. I want oregano in there too. Or as I like to call it, Oregon. This is cumin. Holy moly. Again, just a little sprinkle. Um, <clears throat> pepper? You got some? Sprinkle that in your salsa as well. And we are about ready to hit go. I realized that my 
processor bowl is a little bit broken right here, so it takes some elbow grease. Imagine that. Ready? Blast off. You want to run it till it's nice and smooth, okay? Smooth. Just let it go. When it's almost done, we're going to add a little cilantro. Okay, I had mine by the sink because it really needed washing. That looks good. Yes, it should be super wet. Like, there's a lot of liquid in tomatoes, and we just made a salsa fresca. So fresh, so fresh, salsa, so fresh. Okay, this much cilantro or soap, whatever you've got on hand. And you go. Ooh, that smells like it. Human, exactly. But I'm serious, it goes in here. Okay, what else did y'all say? So hot. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> okay, we should taste this. Maybe it's real spicy, maybe there's no heat. Jalapenos are a crapshoot. I think it needs more salt. Not a whole lot, just some. Um, I can't taste much of that jalapeno either. So let's go and add a little bit more. Maybe you know that you are a spice lover and you already put some in and maybe you were like, fuck it, I'm gonna put the seeds in, you know, because I'm a badass and shit like that. Cool, more power to you. I can't handle it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in because I'm a pussy. Okay, and blend it. side dish I probably cook them in their liquid I know that is a question of debate amongst a lot of people um, nobody likes a dry bean is my opinion the beans are cool and in this case they're gonna be fucking hot just like you okay drain your liquid off and set your beans next to a pan or bowl something that you have not bowl pan or pot um, semi-hot okay do you have butter or olive oil or in this case we're going to use a little coconut oil coconut fat fat with a ph okay here we go in there okay do you have a wooden spoon ready hot too um salsa i'm going to crank the heat under this back pan too can you see it maybe not huh let's suggest there we go. Voila. Mm. Um, I'm cranking the back pan to like six. Carefully you don't drop the blade when you do this. Some salsa in there. A good amount, okay? And you want that to get hot. It's going to develop a little bit different flavor um, as it cooks, which is cool because then you get the same... Uh, you know, amalgamation of ingredients to show you its flavor palette and its flavor combination in two ways, which I think is pretty nice. I like to have um, as many different approaches to the same flavor profile in one dish as I can. Just trying to think about how best to say that. Um, moving on, here we go. This back pan is heating up with salsa and some fat. We're going to put the beans in there. Let's get some tortillas going. I have a sheet pan in the oven, and my oven is on because this is something else that might have slipped your mind but is very different between sometimes, excuse me, it wasn't water, <clears throat> uh, between uh, eating out and 
eating at home. And, you know, good establishment, a restaurant when you go out to eat. One of their number one fucking goals, your line cook, your chef, is not only for the food to be good, but for it to hit your table hot. So I try real hard to like have my place warm and, and, and keep all the components of the dish warm and ready. So I usually, when I make dinner, have the oven on at a low temperature to just pop things in as I finish them and they become ready to just hold in the oven and stay warm and toasty. So we're gonna do the same things with our tortillas. A little coconut fat or butter, olive oil, your fat of choice with a pH, of course, is in that pan. I'm using my favorite cast iron, of course, and I have the little cute little corn street tacos, of course, because they're my favorite. This pan was hot already, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do three. And we're going to look back at our bean pan. Okay, it's sizzling. That looks nice. Let's dump the beans in. The beans are cool currently, and they will no longer be very shortly. Okay, stir that beautiful salsa flavor in. That is the trick. And you want these to really like simmer while we combine the rest of the meal. Assemble. Regulators, mount up. Okay, so we're just gonna do one side of the tortilla. Oh, let's bring you back around. Hello. Hi. What's up, guys? Huevos Rancheros on a Saturday at three in the afternoon. One and a half white claws deep. Just kidding. It's water. Listen, get out of the kitchen. She likes tortillas. <clears throat> no dogs in the kitchen. Okay. Do you have tongs? I like tongs. And what do we do when we pick up a pair of tongs? That's right. Okay. We're going to do three for me and a three for my roommate because tortillas are good. Let's do three more. One, two, three. That's the magic number. Um, typically, also, when you plate something, always use odd numbers. Don't ever put four of something on a plate if you're trying to be fancy. Like, look at how good I am at plating. Three or five, okay? All right. We... I'm not going to tell you where because apparently it has recently become top secret, but we have an egg lady in town, like a half block away um, <clears throat> from our house. So these cute little eggs just grew up right over there, which makes me, if you know me at all, really happy. Let's clean up our zone a little bit and make sure that our cutting board is ready for some more chopping. Because hmm, I made a mess. Did you? Huh professional mess maker over here. We're getting really close to me being able to tell you my egg joke. Egg jokes. Um, I'm always accepting egg joke or any joke uh, submissions to private message me. Um, this one is really like, I think it's just my favorite and it's totally clean too. Like the rest of the show is full of cuss words and fuck this and fuck that and fuck everything kind of a thing. But the egg joke is totally clean. So, if your tortillas are done, let us remove them from the pan. Um, they're going to stay warm in there. Now, we need diced tomato as a garnish. I'm going to go with just half. Just, and if your knife isn't wanting to cut, your tomato really slide it gently. Also, go fucking sharpen your blade. I can't believe you're trying to cut tomatoes with something so dull. Ugh. Moving on. Oopsie. I need to go sharpen my knife. Okay, garnish number one. Let's do some onion. Do you remember the way I showed you to uh, dice onion real easy like? We're gonna do it again. You left the root on, you have a half an onion, you're going to lay your blade flat and your fingers are up. Do not cut yourself and message me and be like, oh my god, I'm bleeding out and like, it's your fault because I didn't. Okay, no. Fingers up, out of the way. You're going to wiggle your blade in, maybe twice because we don't want huge pieces of onion. See? Easy, right? 
Now you're going to go the other direction, 90 degrees to those cuts, nice and small, a few of them. Okay. And there you go. Go the other way, 90 degrees across that. And now you have this nice little dice of onion. Okay. Save the end. Um, let's do radish because that's pretty standard, right? Let's just have the radish. Slice it super thin so you get some nice little half moons. These are definitely not half moons. This is a wonky shaped radish. Holy moly, where did this one grow up? We all grew up somewhere, I guess, eating this radish. I grew up in a pretty interesting place. I'll tell you about that one day. Um, okay. So there's garnish number three. Stir your beans, because they're probably pretty hot right now. Just like you, right? So they, oh, they smell really good. That is some flavor. So this is also where you're going to um, get the flavor from your meat. Hold on, my phone is asking me questions. Mm, it's hard to find, I guess. If you haven't tuned in at the beginning, you missed the boat, right? I missed the bus. And that is something you will never, ever, ever do again. You missed the show. So, beans are working. Garnishes are okay. Let's do cilantro and have that ready. These are our mise en place that we're getting ready. Cilantro, do you think it tastes like soap? I think it tastes like cilantro. My mom thinks it tastes like soap. And that's okay, I'm not mad about it. I ain't mad. Uh, just a real rough chop. It's a really delicate um, herb and you don't wanna smash it. Like maybe you want to smash something right now, but it's not going to be the cilantro. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to subject you to my favorite egg joke. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs> yes, that's the best part about this. I can subject you to my humor. When you can't run away. Right, that's right. I need to remember myself that you can leave. Okay, I just leveled the oil in the pan. We have hot beans. We need to crumble cheese. Shit. Here we go. Cheese. I got queso fresco. This is the one that they had at the store. It's probably pretty wet and I might be about to make a big mess. Ugh. Okay, here we go. We just need a little chunk. It should be the crumbly kind. Let's just crumble it right out of the package. I didn't do a test run of today's recipe. I just fucking went for it. Because <laughs> I feel like when we're doing live, it's more fun to just, you know, wing it. Uh, because if I do fuck up, or maybe when, um, it's funnier. And... If you know me, you know I'm in this for comic relief because you can't let you laugh at yourself. Who can you laugh at? Am I right? Okay. Eggs. So, um, these are, according to my handy pocket oracle, um, these are supposed to be served sunny side up. If you are not the biggest fan of egg snot, some people think it's funny, but really it's not. Thanks, Dad, for that joke. Um, if you're not the biggest fan of egg snot, then you can pop them in the oven uh, and shear the top under the broiler, or you can um, baste them with oil and hot salsa, like you did the beans. There's a lot of different ways to make your eggs not snotty. And if we're avoiding snottiness, you can make the kids shut up and you can baste your eggs. Okay, so we have accoutrements. I'm also going to use some of this Cholula. This would be a dairy-free recipe if I didn't add the cheese, but I'm a sucker for cheese. Um, stir your beans. Mine have absorbed or evaporated most of that li liquid, the salsa flavor. This is going to be fucking great. Okay, turn it right down low. Let's turn the oven off. If you had it on, the residual heat in the oven will do just fine to keep your tortillas. You don't need to fucking bake the shit out of them. You just need to keep them warm. Okay, 
So, uh, let's get plates. I'm gonna stick this one in the oven for just a second because I like my plates warm, like I told you. That's what I told you. That's what I told you. All right. Pepper, you're right. Do you think elevator music plays in my head when I do things like this? Sounded like it, didn't it? Um, a little bit of salt. Okay. Because I think that's really what brings out the flavor of the um, egg yolk, is the salt. You really need to season your food at every stage of the game. We had seasoning in that salsa. It added flavor and like salt to your beans. Every stage of the game. Season it, taste it. Season it, taste it. Eat your own food. Speaking of which, let's try the beans. The beans are not cool. In fact, they're quite hot and I'm totally going to burn myself. That's the flavor. Yes. We got it. Okay. Those fuckers look ready too. Um, you can just leave them. This is another example of mm, ne touche pas or don't fucking touch it. Here we go. Um, you can see there's little white bubbles. That's the albumin, the egg white, cooking through. That means it's going to be pretty fucking perfect. Um, I got out my handy dandy, no fucking around, super strong spatula. Just so that I can get these out. And I'm going to assemble one with you guys and then I'm going to say goodbye. Or at least see you later. Okay, that plate is probably really hot right now. So I'm going to have a minute. I'm going to grab three cute little tortillas. Okay. There we go. I'm going to lay them out in a little like sacred geometry kind of a pattern. Okay. Turn that off. Turn that off. Everything should be off. Okay. <clears throat> Except us. We're on. Uh, I'm going to take one egg. Lay it there. I'm going to take, whoop, I didn't cut that one. There we go. One more egg. Lay it the other way so the cut sides are together. We're going to come over here to our beans. Alright. Alright. And the hot beans on top of the egg whites as well is kind of going to cook them too. Hot beans. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, look, it's kind of like a heart. I fucking love you guys. Yay. Okay. So now the accoutrements. And no, the plate is not too hot. Onion maybe. A little sprinkle. Uh, some radishes over on the corner maybe. Okay. Some tomat. Tomato, tomato. There we go. There we go. Some cilantro. Let's do cilantro last. The herbs go last. A little sprinkle of cheese if you're going dairy status. If you're not, fuck the cheese. Because uh, it fucks you. Alright. Okay. Um, and then the salsa. Shit. Uh, a spoon will do. Nice big scoop of your beautiful salsa fresca. Okay. See? And then the cilantro. Okay. And then whatever your hot sauce is. Let's do that too. Need both hands for that one. Hold on. What's a brand new bottle of Cholula? There we go, there we go, there we go. That, my friends, is Huevos Rancheros. A la yes. Mm -mm. Hi. Here we go. Are you going to eat it now? Are you going to have it for dinner? Are you going to do this tomorrow? Did we just do it together? I love you guys. There's so many of you today. Hi. This is um, like a super huge heartfelt thanks and I love you guys. It's nice to see you and it's nice to be seen. Um, I feel like there was a bunch of stuff I wanted to say today and I totally forgot. But either way, yes, look at all those hearts. I love you guys too. <laughs> Yay, Facebook. It finally serves a real good purpose. Hey, you guys, stay sane, 
dance on dancers and happy cooking.